Ministry 3 Now by that time, King Herod the Tetrarch had heard stories about Jesus and the kinds of things that he was doing, for his name had gotten around. But Herod was perplexed, because he and some others were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers work in him. But others held that Elijah had come. He is Elijah, they would say, and still others maintain that one of the ancient prophets had come to life. It is a wise man, like one of the sages of old. Now when Herod heard that, he said to his attendants, John, whom I had beheaded, has been raised up. But then again, who is this that I have been hearing so much about? I had John's head chopped off, and he sought for a chance to meet with him. Herod, you see, had sent for John, had him bound up and arrested and put into prison over the issue of his brother Philip's wife, Herodias, whom he had married. For John had been admonishing Herod. It is against the law for you to have your brother's wife. Now Herod really wanted to kill John, but since the people believed that he was a prophet, he feared them. Now Herodias nursed a grudge against him and sought to have him put to death, but was not able to make it happen. For Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and therefore kept him safe in prison. He would become extremely perplexed and do many things whenever he would hear him speak. And he heard that he worked many wonders, yet he continued to hear him gladly. Then the day came at last. On his birthday, Herod held a banquet for his noblemen and military brass and the foremost of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced for them, she delighted Herod and his guests to such an extent that he promised her on oath to give her anything that she would ask of him. Ask me for whatever you wish, the king assured the girl, and I will give it to you. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever you might ask of me, I will grant it to you, even if it should be the half of my kingdom. And she went out and besought her mother, Tell me what I should ask him for. Whereupon her mother replied, The head of that baptizer, John. She hurried right back into the king, and at her mother's behest demanded, I would that you give me John the Baptist's head on a ditch right here and now. The king regretted it deeply, but for the sake of his oath and for those who were sitting at table with him, he would not break his word to her. He sent an executioner right away with orders that her request be carried out, that that man's head be brought in on a serving dish. And he went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head in on a platter and handed it to the girl. The girl then carried it to her mother and gave it to her. When his followers heard about it, they came and picked his body up. Then they buried it laying it in a tomb. And they went back to Jesus and told him these things.